What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young Guy, coming to you live in the the Random Axa Podcast Dungeon, giving it to you real, real rugged. And um, I have an ear infection, so I can't speak really loud. It's gonna hurt my ear if I do so. But it's a little thing that I want to bring to you guys called the opposition. I have a lot of stuff that I don't finish. I got a lot of like girl talk stuff, but it's gonna come out uh, very soon. But the opposition is basically a thing where I get people on that I disagree with, and you know we just talk about them. They will have another point. I have another point, or I have another ideology view than they do, and you just go from there. And um, the first person I have on is well, you know, I let people introduce myself on my my channel. So I let the the dude introduce himself. Um, my name is David. Me and Eric, we we go way back. I didn't actually do all of that, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a love story. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, I think we're gonna do a couple topics today. The first topic that we're gonna discuss is uh, very similar to what me and Amp did, who's behind the camera, and we basically talked about why rap or why R and B has fallen off. But David wants to talk about why rap has fallen off. Now, I per se don't think rap has fallen off that much, but we can get right into it. Um, so yeah, state your piece and scale, how you feel. On the scale, well, just 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 state your piece how you feel first. I think I think hip hop. I haven't heard of a good album in a long time. The best album I heard was The Pink Butterfly. That's the last good album I heard. That's the last good album you heard? That's, well, the, last like, that's the last amazing like, album you that's, heard. That's the last, like, classic. Like, you go back to the 90s, like, you, you can you can point out just a lot more classics than there's now. Like, Drake released, like, three back-to-back trash albums, and we're okay with it. Well, what's your, what's your definition of a classic? Like, every song hit. Well, you can say that by a lot of albums, but I don't think that's a classic. I feel like a classic has to. Well, no, oh, no, no. I'm saying I don't think what you just said constitutes as a classic. I like you have like fan classes, like Take Care is like a Drake fan classic, but it's not a real classic. If you're talking about like good music, kind of well, trash. I f- well, so not trash. Take Care isn't trash, but like it's it's songs on there that he could have just taken off. Well, I feel like a lot of people think that Take Care is a classic. Is there's a thing out there? It's kind of debate if it's classic or not. But I feel like a classic has to withstand the test of time. So you can't say an album is just listen to him like, oh, it's a classic. People say that, but it's overused. But you have to let it actually sit there. So we can't really determine if these albums that came out last year, two years ago, are a classic. Can't do that. I think that's fair. Um, but for me, what I look at is about the music. It's not about what other people say. If every song on that shit is uh, nine out of ten, ten out of ten. It's a classic. Five years from now, you can hate that album. Is it still gonna be a classic? But why would I hate it if every song is a hit? Like that, that's what I'm trying to say. If it every out, song is a it hit, ages badly. Um, you resonate differently. Give me an example of, a, of an album that was fire and it's trash now. Um, I mean, a lot of people say Illmatic is just not a good list in 2019. Illmatic is okay. That, that fucking idiots. Illmatic is definitely to me. That's the greatest. I mean, niggas from the I'm south don't listen to Illmatic. That's that. that. I'm from the South. I listen to Illmatic. You like want to be a New York nigga. I be- <laughs> look, look the way you dressing. You from Jacksonville? Stand up. Let's not do this. <laughs> <laughs> you got your shirt tucked in for no reason, nigga. It's a large, and I like. Why I'm- did you buy a large shirt, nigga? Because I to like look doing trendy. <laughs> you dress like a gay nigga right now. It's definitely a gay nigga fit you got on right now. You got on That's high. You got on high waters. You got on high waters That's for no reason. Definitely not high waters. Definitely not high waters. <laughs> 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 don't tuck your ankle, right? <laughs> Bitches just barely touch your ankle, bro. That's right. crazy, bro. If you had on ankle socks, <laughs> bitches would be showing, bro. You got on high waters right now. Okay. So I don't really think a nigga like, I really can't take your hip hop uh, opinion that serious, bro. You can't take my hip hop opinion seriously. Yeah, just give out. I got my shirt tucked down. Yeah, pretty much. You trying to be fun. It's such a green ass. I'm just saying, man. Stand up. Just stand up. Let's not do that, bro. All right. Let's man. not do that, bro. All right, whatever. Yeah. Right, whatever. If I did this type of podcast, I was covered up, I better prepare with some jokes, nigga. So we gotta write down. That's uh, uh, neither here or there. My point is, I feel like a hip hop classic is something that has, actually has to resonate with you. You can't act like all music from 2010 still bumps in 2019. That's not a thing. Music ages, and some of it ages badly. That's a thing. But a classic tells us time. Yeah. So, 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 so you can't say song, if every song hits nine out of ten, ten out of ten, it stood. It can stand the test of time. You that's what type of you don't know album it was. You don't know that though. Okay, let's because because the album because album could be trying to get production of 2019 time. That doesn't mean that 2019, 2019 production is going to be hot in 2029. It could be completely I that, different. I get that, but you, you think you're not trash now? Um, no, I didn't say that. Okay, but I'm just saying there's people that think that you albums think, off top of my head. Um, I don't know, amp. You think the you give me one? education of Lauryn Hill is trash now? Uh, you see, y'all said reasonable doubt. Uh, I mean, we can go reasonable doubt. You think reasonable doubt not that good? 2019. Oh, like like albums. like albums that were considered like really good, but now they like age poorly and nobody really cares about them no more. Oh. I feel like that happened a lot in like the early two thousands because the production yeah, stuff like that. A lot of albums, 
actually. You think yeah. the first album um, trash? Ludicrous shit. Yeah, here you go, Ludacris albums. Every single Ludacris album aged badly. Nobody's listening. I ain't listening to Ludacris. Well, I don't know if you can hear him because I don't know if the mic picking him up, but he yeah, said. They say, okay, well, he said Ludacris if you didn't hear him. So people like that, you know, it's a lot of albums that were considered really good at the time, but they aged badly because they were trying to be of the production of the time. You thought Ludacris was top 10 all the time? I'm mm-hmm. talking about, like, Ludacris, um, nobody had Ludacris in their top 10. I all think time. people will put Ludacris in their top 10 Southern uh, rappers of all time. That's fair. But, like, you're not, I wasn't, you're not looking for Ludacris for a classic album. Like, I wasn't born, like, I wasn't, like, I was born back then, but I wasn't, like, I wasn't listening to Ludacris back then, so I, I can't, like, judge on how I felt then versus now. But nobody's fucking listening. Like, Nelly, them shit's probably aged awfully. How you feel about Frank Ocean? I love Frank Ocean. I think he makes amazing music. That was just a joke, because I say he's just like a gay nigga, and Frank Ocean a gay nigga. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like uh, Frank Ocean has a lot of classic albums. All right, I feel like they they sound like they could... With, I feel like an album. He has a lot of classic albums. Well, he doesn't have a lot of albums, so I take yeah, that back. Yeah. But my my thing is, I feel like you can you can gauge if an album is going to be classic or not by the production because if the production has a lot of actual instruments, so like say for a Frank Ocean or somebody who's who has like violins and guitars in his music, a guitar or violin will never age badly. Guitars and violins have been used since you know the times of ancient, not ancient times, but you know 1700s, 1600s. They've been playing those type of instruments, so you will never hear a piano and be like, "Oh, this aged poorly," because those instruments are timeless. So if you're using stuff like that, you could probably be like, "Oh, this production is going to age well." But if you're using like, let's say, like a a a, a drum pattern or eight oh eight or a hi hat, let's say nobody's using those ten years from now, they'll be like, "Damn, like this is really annoying. I don't want to hear this anymore." So production like that could easily make an album not classic. And I feel like you can't gauge that right now because we don't know what's going to be popping ten years from now. So you don't know if the eighties albums going to be classic. Ten years from now, five years from now, you can say that, but not now. So uh, the album that came out last year, like the Baby album. A lot of people think every one of those songs hit. Does that make it a classic? No. Okay. Well, so what's your take? You you think music is better now than it was back then, like in the nineties? I wouldn't I say think it fell off after graduation. I wouldn't say I music, think. but I would just say I think rap music is in a decent place. It's something for everybody. Okay, I, I agree with that, but I just think it's like trash albums now. It's just a lot of shit that I just don't want to listen to. Like I mean, that's a personal opinion, but what? Like the J Cole album. It, it wasn't trash. It was, it was an okay album. I mean, you can say that about a lot of J. Cole albums, though. So, I mean, that's. I think Forest Hill Drive was nice. It was probably one of his better albums. I think mean, it was his best one. That yeah. and Born Center. I like the Born Center. Nobody yeah. liked the Born Center. Yeah, I, I, I like ask David a question. Do you, like, only listen to, like, mainstream stuff? Do you um, listen to, like, newer yeah. dudes? Like, underground dudes? Like, what do you mean? Give me an example. Like, um, I don't listen to, like, Denzel Curry or. The ba- yeah, Denzel Curry, The Baby, um, <coughs> Young Nudie, um, Thug. Not nah, listen to I, I, I listen to Thug and Future, but not like I like you hear it for me. I hear it once and then like I like Future a lot, but like I'm not like a Future stand. Okay. Like if you release an album, I'm not just gonna jump on it. Okay, I got you. All right. So basically, my point is, I feel like rap music has a little bit for everybody, so it's in a good place. Everybody's pleased. But do you agree that it was way better, like in the two thousand early two thousands, nineties? Early two thousands, no nineties, yes. Because so I, I like Ti. I'm serious. Yeah. Have you heard those Outkast albums? Yeah. Yeah, they shit on every album that was just released in the last. What Outkast albums in the early? I mean, they they dropped um what uh they dropped uh. What's, what's, not, what's, not, what's, not not not. What's the album with the What's the album with the American flag? Um, a stank on you. Yeah, stank on it has stank on the early two thousands. Yeah. Um, Equimini and ATLs came out in the nineties though. So what else they dropped? Uh, uh, the, box. That's the double disc album. No, I mean, no, I I I go out was the double. That's disc a movie album. soundtrack. That don't count. Yeah, that's no, not no. the the double disc album. The speaker box. Oh, okay. so that's, that's their last album. Yes, yeah, so I don't know. But which, isn't that so I, I I I do out when when they um when one nigga got one. No, one that's speaker. Album. That's a, that's a double. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a double disc. Below, below. Yeah. Oh, right. So you said early two thousands. They only released um uh, stank on you in that double disc, and nobody. Yeah. That double disc is like. So you think those albums was bad? No, I think Stink Only is a classic, but the double disc nobody says that's a classic. Right. So I mean, you got to come with some more. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I think. Yeah, I'm serious. That's um, that's cool. That's cool. That's, that's a cool, cool album, album. So it's not a classic. I can see why somebody would say that, but I'm not going bad. I'm Urban serious. Urban Legend a classic. Some say King is a classic also. I wouldn't say King is a classic. I like T.I. vs. T.I.V., but I don't want to say it's a classic. Wow. Gee, I don't know why. I like the Dust commercials. I don't know why. That's the worst album. That sucks. Yeah. T.I. vs. T.I.V.? No, I think Paper, 
Paper trail is trying to trash. Like if you look, listen to it now, I think that age is bad. I don't know about that. Paper trail hard. <laughs> <laughs> like if you, it's too mainstream. Like if you listen to it now, you'll be like, uh, I don't want to listen to that shit. That's my point. When you listen to certain albums back then, niggas like, oh, this is fire. But then ten years from now, I was like, yeah, this isn't hitting anymore like it was back then. I, I didn't disagree with that. I agree with that. Okay. But I'm just saying like. Like, if every song is actually like a 9 out of 10, it's going to last. Look, there's aspects of rap that I think are worse off than it was in the 90s. Like, I feel like nobody cares about bars anymore. As a as a general audience, nobody cares about bars anymore. So I think that's a bad thing. But do I think overall rap is in a bad place? No, but I think that there's bad aspects because, like, nobody's like, oh, I'm trying to hear bars. Niggas is trying to listen to Playboy Cardi, who sometimes says nothing. Like legitimately, he doesn't I, say I words. You, I heard you say Playboy Cardi makes trash music. Yeah, that's my point. That's that's all I'm trying to say. I mean, that's music one artist. Not. I mean, it was niggas in the '90s that made trash music. That that don't. That, it's like I'm just saying it's in abundance now. When, well, what's I mean, the there's last, more. What's the last good album you heard? There's more rappers than it was ever. All right, what was the last? What's the last good album you heard? The last good rap album that I heard. Yeah, the album that you just liked. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think right now. I gotta go look. Um, the last, I mean, what, what about you? you? You talk while I try to look because I can't the think. The last one I heard, Schoolboy Q Crash Talk. That's the new shit that came out. Yeah, I didn't listen to it, but uh, let me I see did listen else. to. Um, like I listened to it after he passed away, but I listened to it and it was a really good album. Um, Victory Lip. Yeah, you didn't. You, you were one of those. I like this. Yeah, you listen to it afterwards. Well, what I'm supposed Victory to do? Shit. Be considered a classic in like three, two, yeah, three. Victory Lap is definitely gonna be considered a classic. Um, okay, so good rap. You, okay, that goes against everything you just said. Well, he's How can dead. You say that now? He's dead. That's really why. To be honest, he's not living anymore. And niggas give somebody they give him at least one classic. What he did after he did, it's like, oh, this is his last album. He, it dropped right before he died. It's a classic. And some powerful songs under like rap niggas. That's always gonna be an anthem. That's like an anthem. I ain't nothing like you rap nigga. Like, that's gonna be like an anthem. So I know that's gonna be on there. That's just gonna be a classic, right. um, but Sada Baby put out a really good album that I think ah, is a really good, good album. album. You listen to that? Yeah. When did you listen to Sada Baby? Wait, Saba? No, you're talking oh. about Sa- okay. Saba, nigga. Oh, There's no, too no. many <laughs> similar names. I thought it was no, about no. Saw Baby. No, no, no. no um, Sa Dub Baby. He's a Detroit street rapper. Oh, no. Really, really good rapper. Um, is that nigga you sent me? Yeah, I did uh. send you Sada Baby. I told you I think because he he made gangster music. But yeah, Sada Baby. That's a really good album. Uh, Future the Wizard. It's a pretty good album that came out this year. Um, I'm trying to think. NBA Youngboy dropped an album on the back end of December, so I'm not counting 2019, but music. yeah. Oh, like, oh, NBA. NBA Youngboy, that was a pretty good rap album. Uh, Lucky, really good rap album. Um, Free Wave 3. Uh, there's a couple good rap albums that came out this year. But my argument isn't that good music isn't being made, it's just that most of the shit fucking sucks. Um, most of it. I don't know if I could say most of it. I could say, I mean, like, like, give me some rappers that you don't think are that good. Rappers I don't think are that good? Mm-hmm. Or music or albums that you hear that's not that good. Like, give me something. I'm just see what it's released. I honestly ain't got nothing on top of my head right now. Um, you said you don't like Playboy Cardi. Don't. I think he makes trash music. Um, who else? Is, what about Young Nudie? He just dropped. I didn't listen to that. Do you but listen? To, you like Young Nudie? I do like Young Nudie. Um, what else just dropped? That's rap. I'm just looking at all, all the shit that Apple Music music just released. Yeah, yeah. Give him. Give me what Apple Music is talking about. All right, so. You heard the Tink shit? You heard PNB Rock? Like, I listen to PNB Rock. No, I, don't, I don't listen to PNB Rock. I know. Rock. Like, I, I don't like what he put out. Yeah, no. Oh, you like Hood Rich Pablo? You like Hood Rich Pablo? Yeah, Hood Rich Pablo ones are a pretty good rapper. Uh, whoa, 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 time on, time on, time on, time on. Why we say it like that? You must never heard Hood Rich Pablo one. Uh, that nigga's fire. He can rap. Uh, just, you want to you you play a song? Uh, sure. All right, right. I mean, I'm just, no, I'm not going to put this in the thing. Because right, okay. so. <laughs> it's going to get taken down. So. All right. Oh, for real? Yeah, he get copyrighted. Uh, he's playing that. Okay. All right. You heard the James Blake album? Yeah. That's like not it. that's not rap. We can I know, get to that I later. Just, just wanted to say. I like yeah, it. It's a pretty good album. But um yeah, like I said, it's a lot of rap, it's a lot of good so rap out here. Okay, so but you saying we we actually agree. And you're saying that most of rap is trash, and I'm saying that I do not think it's trash because I think that we're getting more rap than we've ever had, right? So probability speaking, the probability of you getting more trash is more likely because somebody's doing a lot of people are doing skill that they're not good at. They see it's popular. Rap is the most popular it's ever been, so a lot of more people are going to be attracted to it than they were in the 90s because a lot of people might look at it as like, oh, a whole bunch of wild niggas running around. But now that it's getting more accepted by white people, Asian people, people that are not even from the culture, they're more likely to hop in rap because it's like, oh, it's almost like a get-rich-quick scheme. When somebody goes viral, what's the first thing they do? They make a rap song. So it's just so much more accessible. You can find a beat on YouTube. You ha- you couldn't find a beat in the 90s just laying around. You had to know somebody. You know, you couldn't just... 
find a demo tape or not. So it's just much more accessible. So of course you're going to hear more trash because there's more people making it. I'm holding it to a different level. So like to me, like DMX released three back to three back to back albums that was just fire. I don't see no niggas doing that. I don't think no nigga has done that. Only person I can say is Kendrick. Like I just don't think it's that many people doing it. Like Eminem had Future two really good albums. I think that's like preference. Like I, I I think those are really good albums, but I'm like most people wouldn't. What? Like just go to those future tapes and be like. And most people wouldn't. I don't know where's most people you talking like, about. If you look at the dem- demographic, probably people from the south, yeah. But nah, I think Future's uh, transcended the south. He's up up north. Niggas miss a Future now. I know, but like people say, I, I hear the argument that he like it's like the same shit. You hear the same shit basically. Who says that? I'm just saying that's what I hear. Like who? Like where we heard you say that? Like you listen to a podcast. Like well, I'm saying, who are these people? I can't say verbatim, bro. Like nah, I'm not, I wasn't. I didn't note it. Like oh, he said this one this time. I just heard it. Well, like I said, um, I mean, they're pretty sure there's certain people. I feel like Future is one of those. He's like, uh, he's gonna go down as a rap legend. You know, that's what that's what it is. So the same way you look at DMX as a rap legend, Future is gonna be a rap legend. That's what he is. So you think those Future tapes is better than those? I'm not. I'm not comparing it to. I'm just saying that the way you're saying like it's preference. You know, some that's people like and some people don't. Mean. But no, 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 I'm not comparing those two people. I was just saying that in the same way that you say that it's preference, I can say that DMX is preference because they're both rap legends. You know what I'm saying? DMX is a rap legend, Future is a rap legend. So even if it's a preference I think it's, thing. I think it's levels. Hmm? I wouldn't say Future's on DMX level. Um, I would say Future's more influential than DMX. Like now, maybe. Yeah, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be we can't, Future. We, can, we, can't, we can't judge that. Like you said, ten years from now. I mean, we, future. We look at it that way. Future is influencing people right now. Future did something with auto tune that was revolutionary. I'm sure, like in two thousand. But the way he thought DMX was like. Oh, but no, God. what he did, what he's doing, what he's doing with auto tune is revolutionary. What T Pain did was he's like the grandfather of it, and then Future put his own twist on it, having niggas doing it just like he doing it. So you, it's it's the way he's doing auto tune has changed kind of like the music industry. Nigga wrote Drunk in Love, like he's a he's a legend. <laughs> he wrote Drunk in Love. That's crazy. Right. I'm just saying, it's like it's the number one song. It's fire. But, um, yeah, I mean, so any closing arguments you have about this? No, I just think I, just, uh, I think we agree mostly, but I just think 90s, music released in the 90s, and then the early 2000s, the fall off, I think, was at graduation. That's when, like, shit it really just fell off. It was just abundance of bad music. What are these Everything 90s albums, albums that you're romanticizing? Like, you got The Miseducation of Warren Hill. You got those Wu-Tang albums. You got you. You're a big Raekwon fan. I, I ain't really listening to us. I'm not, Raekwon, not a Raekwon fan. Ghostface Killer. Um, those tapes, but I ain't really listening to them. But like, most of those came out in the 2000s. Raekwon first album, top five hip hop albums ever. But I well, did, for my, my argument was in the 2000s as well. I said 90s, 2000s. The last, the age where I think shit fell off was in graduation. Like and you, you go all the Kanye albums. And you just don't think we're. And you don't think we're getting those. You don't there. think we're getting those quality albums. I yeah, could, I could, saying. I could beg to differ because you got niggas like Saba. Oh, then you name some shit. I just well, named... you got you got niggas like Saba. You got niggas like Kendrick putting out great albums. You got niggas like even for your street niggas. You got niggas like Sada Baby putting out these crazy but albums. Is it really great compared to that shit? Is um, well, I mean that has time. That's romanticized. It's nostalgic, so it's going to feel different than music that's coming out now. So of course we can't compare the two, but I think that within the next twenty years, those are going to be the albums. Saba Baby, that's, that's going to be the album. Saba, so. Sada Baby. Whatever the fuck. You uh, I think I, I think Sada that, Baby. That, that's the one. I think that's one of the yeah, better street out. I think that's one of the better street albums to come out this uh this decade. You think Sada Baby? All right. Let's think, see. Let's, let's give it a two years. Two years. Sada, five, Sada Baby gonna be the one. I don't know if he's gonna be big, but I'm just saying I'm that just I saying, feel like one. I feel like that album is one of the better street albums I to come out in the decade. You, wrong, you just like arguing it for the sake of it. You think that's one of the better street albums to come out this decade? Um, yeah. <laughs> Body Air Bounty is a really good album. I haven't heard it, so I really can't say what I'm Kodak saying. Black Painting Pictures is one of those street albums that's going to be looked upon. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, Future uh, Future DS2 is a classic album. Like, we're talking about these 90s. Future DS2 is a very impactful, classic album. Okay. One of the best rap albums this decade. Do you disagree? I would have to listen back to it. When I heard it the first time, I didn't think it was... You didn't think DS2 was a classic? It's an instant classic right there. Okay. Nigga had people wearing Gucci flip-flops. Still got people wearing Gucci flip-flops. Oh, it was a moment. It was everything. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm just saying it doesn't it doesn't compare to. Well, I'm saying shit. we can't compare it to those nostalgic albums because but that's what we, we're doing. That's the point of the it's, argument. It's no, po- no we're not. We're not comparing. I'm just telling so what you. Is, what is the argument? The, argu- the argument. The argument now 
the music back then. Well, I'm saying you can't compare these specific songs and albums to these songs you've sat with way longer. My whole point is there's going to be, of course, there's going to be more trash rap albums or trash rap songs you hear because rap is more accessible. But the whole point is that... You just agree with what I'm saying. What? Like you just said. That's exactly what I just said. Well, no, 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 no. You're saying that there's not the same amount of good rap albums. If you look, you can find those same amount of good rap albums from right now back in the 90s. I feel I like think you it's can... preference. I, 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 that's what, that's what it must be. be. That's what it must be because or unless you're not looking because these rap albums that I'm naming, they're really good. And I feel like they can go toe-to-toe with the best street albums of back then. Like, you know what I'm saying? they was released back then, nobody listened to that shit in my opinion. You don't. You haven't heard half these albums though. I'm talking about. You haven't heard Sada Baby album. You haven't heard DS2 in a long time. I, you haven't but heard. I've heard it. What? I've heard it though. What? You heard DS2, but you haven't heard Sada Baby. You haven't heard a lot of albums. I haven't heard Sada Baby. Just you don't know who that is. You literally do not know who Sada Baby is. Yeah. You do not know who a popping this nigga is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with you saying, but I'm saying you just don't know. All right. So you just got to admit I, that I you don't know. Sada, Sada, I said I didn't know. But the whole point is, uh, well. You guys let us know what you think. Do you agree with him? Do you agree with me? I think that you can find a lot of these great albums that he said that we're not getting if you really look for them in rap because there's a lot of them coming out. You just got to look for them. Earl Sweatshirt, some rap songs. I think that's a really pivotal album for black people. You should listen to that if you're a black person. It's a really good album. That shit sucks. Once again, he's doing what you're doing. He's never heard some rap songs, so I'm not listening to him. That's my point. So y'all speaking about albums that y'all haven't heard. Some rap songs. It's a very good album if you're black. You know what I'm saying? So um last words? No, you're done. I'm done. So next time I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters are gonna hate, players are gonna play. I'll let your boy.